Hey everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. I am so excited to show you this trailer. Right behind me here is the 2024 MDC XT16HR Island version. Now, there's several 16 footers, and that means 16 foot box, but the island means that it's a walk around bed. Super cool, lots of off grid, off road features. Now, this isn't just a Let's get a little bit off-road. This trailer is set up to really go anywhere you want, be self-sufficient, and used all the premium quality materials. I'm really excited to show you all the details in this, so hang in there. It's gonna take a few minutes, but we're going to look at everything on this MDC trailer. All right, a lot to look at here, but before we go inside like we always do, I wanna tell you it is a total of 22 foot three inches long, now that includes the tongue, and it also weighs about 5,600 pounds. Again, really tough trailer with lots of great gear on it. Let's go inside and get started. Woo. Stepping in, this trailer just screams quality. One of the things I noticed right off of course, all the white walls and cabinets are glossy laminate, and not only does that make it look really high-end, it makes them very durable and easy to clean. So all of that's important if you wanna get off the road and really have some adventures. All right, let's get started right here behind me because this is the walk-around bed. It's a little different than you're used to. There is a piece at the end tipped up here. Um, and of course it doesn't have a bedspread on it, but it is almost a full queen. Now, what do I mean by that? It's 59 inches wide instead of 60, you lose one inch. And it's 78 long instead of 80. So really a bed that size in a 16 foot box, wow. Plenty of walking space here, and when you're ready to go to sleep, you just pull it out and lengthen the bed. Let me show you how this works. The framing just pulls out underneath. You see that? This is one side, and the other side just pulls out easily here. And then slide this mattress forward and drop the back down, and you have a queen mattress. It's brilliant. Now, this is a very nice mattress. It's about nine inches tall. It's a pillow top, inner spring mattress, super comfortable. So they didn't skimp on anything there, that's for sure. Let's look at the cabinets around the bed. Right up here at the top, you've got over a foot in depth up here. Now, of course, these upper cabinets always take on the curve. So not as much height all the way through, but that's a fair amount of space up there. Really impressed with that. Now, while we're here on this very first cabinet, let's talk about the latches because we have seen in a lot of trailers, these push button latches, but when you open it up, then it is free to open and close. But with these, you need to turn it. So if you forget to push that button in, that door or that drawer is not going to open when you're going off road or running down the highway. Really nice feature there. Very well done. Now on the side is the hanging closet. You've got a bar right about here. It is a really deep closet here. For those of you who don't like the hanging bars, there's plenty of space to make shelves in here. Again, all of it inside is white. I really like that, especially inside cabinets because nothing gets lost. Down below, you'll see there is USB ports now. There's several of these throughout the trailer. Uh, it has the round uh, 12 volt plug-in on the left and two USBs on the right. And over here, the 110 plug. Both setups right here with a little bit of a shelf in front of it. If you have a CPAP or any type of electronics you wanna charge, very easy to do right here next to the bed. Each side is gonna have a drawer. I love drawers. So nice to have my own drawer next to the bed. It's about three to four inches deep. It's not huge, guys, but it's ample. And underneath that, another storage spot. Right underneath a cabinet that opens up and gives you about 
10 inches deep of space underneath there. Lots of storage right here around the bed. On the left here, you've got these really nice reading lights, no cheap little plastic ones, and the controls right here for the furnace. The furnace is back here underneath, and let me show you where you can see that. I'm gonna lift up this bed here. The furnace is back here and they built in an access panel to almost every piece of gear in this trailer. If you're running down the road and you've got a problem, you want to be able to get to it, fix it and keep going. So a little panel right here that lifts up, very easy to get to the furnace down there. Let's put that back down. And of course, this is the ducting underneath here to come out on this forced air furnace but the rest of it is storage. Wow, a ton of space right here, very easy to get to. And you can see this is an aluminum frame. In fact, this is very easy to open. Being five foot tall, I have to lean in just a little bit to close it. So there we go. Takes a little bit of effort there for me, but still very doable. There's a lot more to look at right here. We have a hike event right here at the top, lights going around it. I love that. I love these LED lights that can make it super bright in here. Switch right here, so if you don't need that much light, you can just flip it off. But the best part is you have a blackout shade like you see now, or you can pull it over to be a screen, or separate it and have it open. This is a dual pane acrylic vent, so it does open completely. Fresh air to the outside, really nice. You'll want to be sure you clip it back in place and close it up good before you travel down the road. All right, the windows on the side are going to be the same. Let's back up and take a look at these. Now this has the screen down here and just pinch it right here to bring that screen up or you can bring up the privacy panel and clip them together. This is really nice vinyl coated panel here. I really like the fact that it's white. I like the fact that it's cleanable and it's really nice having the white aluminum strips on the top and the bottom. Just a very well done window covering here. I like it kind of partially down sometimes when I want a little fresh air, but I still want some privacy and <clears throat> open it up completely. Now these are dual paned acrylic, as I said, just push in on these buttons, fold it down and the window opens. When it clicks, it's at a point where it can hold itself open. And when you're ready to close it, lift it up, comes right back in. You also have a little slot here where you can put these in right in the slot. Now be aware that that does not close the window but that does give you a little bit of pocket of air coming through. So if you like the security of the window being latched, however, you'd like a little bit of air coming in, that's a nice way to do it. All right, be sure before you travel that it gets completely latched with this red button on the front of that slot. Otherwise, this window is gonna catch some air and you might lose it going down the road. All right, a lot of great ventilation right here but there's two more giant windows right next to it. So this can really open up to the outside. Now these fans are really unique. If you haven't seen them before, I wanna go through some details. You unlatch them and they can swivel around to wherever you need them to be, latch right back in place. And then of course, face any direction and swivel up and down. So you can point these wherever you would like. If you happen to stick your finger in it, that's all right. These are flexible panels. It's not gonna hurt you. There's a switch on one side that will turn them on to three different speeds and another switch that will set them to run for three hours, six hours, nine hours, or 12 hours. Now, why is that important? Well, these trailers are meant to run off 12 volt. You don't wanna waste any of that energy. So if you only need this for a few hours when you go to sleep, but then it's gonna be cool enough, 
then you can set it for three hours. It's going to cut off and quit using the power. We'll see that set up in a couple of different things in this trailer. So really unique situation here to move some air. And along with these acrylic windows, it's fantastic in all kinds of weather. All right, let's keep going. There is so much to see. One of the things that needs really no explanation is going to be your television right here. It is a Jensen 12 volt, so it is going to be running directly off your battery. And in the back, you'll see it's on a swivel. You can move it around wherever you want. Maybe you're out somewhere and you don't have a portable satellite and you don't have cable. That's all right. Right up here, you have the AM FM stereo. It does have a DVD player in it. It's Bluetooth. It has the HDMI. It has everything you need right there on the top to connect to your television. That brings us into the kitchen. Awesome. Let's get this TV out of the way because I want to show you the extension table right here. I've seen a lot of extension tables and you know, they do work. They're not always flat a little bit uh, precarious. This guy, it's solid. Snaps into place and it is a direct extension of your counter. The other thing I really like about this is that it's easy to put up and down. It's not gonna move, you're not gonna spill a drink you set on it, but when you want it to go down, you just clip both of these and then push it down and it goes right back out of the way. I mean, it is a true counter extension. All right, let's keep going. And I'll step right over here so you can see the sink here. It does have the marine faucet that folds up and down uh, so this glass top doesn't get in the way. It's about six inches deep. It is kind of a brushed aluminum look. Um, very adequate for this size trailer and fold that right back down. Of course, when it's down, you've got the nice glass top, so you can use that for countertop, as well as the stove. This is an unusual stove. I don't see this stove very often. The thing I like about it the most is that this flips up. You don't have to lift it up to put it back down. Three really nice burners. It's got a flat bottom here, so it's gonna clean really quickly. Three controls right here. Just a nice, upscale, clean look. I know, function is really more important, but the aesthetics of this trailer are just outstanding. All right, let's close this down. Of course, when you're not cooking, you have the great countertop here. Remember I mentioned windows? Well, we've only taken two steps, and here's another giant window with one to match on the other side. So lots of great airflow. Let's look up because right up here, we've got some more storage cabinets. That's gonna be probably 15, 18 inches deep. Exact same thing right next to it here. And of course the stereo we've already talked about. And next to that is your tank monitors. So this is going to show you each tank and it just blips on and off. Very easy to see exactly where you are, and you can turn it off and it goes away. Very easy to do. All right, the Furion hood vent is one of my favorites when it comes to that because you do want to have a fan and a light right over where you're cooking, but this is so slim and out of the way. It's a great look and it performs fantastic. I love the contrast of the black cabinet look here. It's also a laminate, gonna clean really easy, but not all of it is gonna be storage. So let's take a look. Right under here, you do have a fair amount of storage in the top. You have the hoses coming down. You know, there's always a P-trap or something that can get in the way underneath the sink, but you've got a fair amount of space right here and they use flexible hoses. And when you get down into the bottom, there is a lot of gear under here, so not as much usable space, but certainly some of it. If you're careful, you could use that for a little more storage down here. Again, I am really happy that all the connections are accessible right here in this cabinet. Let's close that up and take a look right over here. We have a nice drawer. Look at that almost five inches deep. 
and a full size drawer here, the full depth of the countertop. Below that is another really big door. What this is, is the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus. Now AquaGo makes several levels of water heaters, but this is one of the best ones they make because this circulates the water throughout. What that means is that when you turn on water at any of the faucets, even outside, you're gonna almost instantly get hot water. That's great because if you're limited in what water you have on board, then you wanna be sure you don't waste any of it waiting for hot water. So the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus, that's the way to go on a trailer like this. Now there is a little bit of storage space in here, but you do wanna be careful not to crimp any lines, not to get in the way of any of the equipment. You do have cutoff valves for the gas lines here. Um, just, you can't overload it. If you had some plastic bags or something you'd like to store down here, I bet you could get away with that. Now the controls for this Truma AquaGo are right here on the front of the counter. They're very flush. You're not gonna catch it on anything, but I wanted to explain it just a bit because it is such a nice system. It has an eco mode, a standard mode, but it also has a mode that you can put it on if you're in cold weather and you may not wanna keep the water super hot, but you wanna be sure it doesn't freeze. There is a setting for that. And then there's a clean setting as well for descaling. All right, all right here in the front, very simple to use. Up here above the refrigerator, it looks like another cabinet, but it's actually access to controls. On the top left, that's the battery monitor. And because this trailer was made to not be plugged in, be out there in the middle of nowhere and be self-sufficient, that battery monitor is gonna tell you how much power you have, how long you can use it at the current level, how much it's charging. You do have 400 watts of solar panel on the roof. So all of that is going to feed into that battery monitor to tell you where you're at. To the right is the battery disconnect. If you don't need the batteries at all, particularly if you're in storage, just flip it off right there and it disconnects from everything. Now let's talk about these switches. Everything in here, almost everything, is gonna have its own switch. And that's so that you can control what's working and what's pulling power. Toilet and the fridge have their own switch right here. The DC outlets, now we showed you the two that are by the bed. There's another one right here underneath the dinette and there's another one in the bathroom. All four of those are controlled by this switch right here. If you wanna be sure you're conserving power, you just flip that switch off and turns off those outlets. Now, this is going to be the water pump, the hot water heater, and the furnace right here. And then you have a spare one in case you would like to hook up something else. All right, all of that right here. And you know, for those of you that are used to camping without standard landline power, you'll understand why that's important. It gives you a lot more control over what's working and what's not. Let's look at this refrigerator, maybe a little different than what you've seen in the past. You've got a latch right here to keep it closed. Let's open this up. Now it's a lot more vertical than most refrigerators you may have seen, but it's got plenty of space. You've got four shelves here, a small crisper tray in the top, and a really big one in the bottom. Pull down freezer box right here, and three shelves on the door. So I'm really impressed with how big this is in the inside and how it fits so nicely in this space. And then you just wanna lock it closed to be sure nothing pops open when you're going down the road. Directly across from the kitchen, you've got this nice dinette. It looks really comfy, really nice. Cabinets at the top. I hope you guys can get a sense of the space in this trailer because I mean, it is not that big of a trailer, but it feels huge on the inside comparatively. All right, let's take a look up here. We have storage. This has got to be 18 inches deep and the same on the other side. So you've got two really nice cabinets right here. Lighting on the top, you notice it changes color. Both cabinets have lighting across the top. Now there is an app where you can control that 
right at the end of this cabinet there is a little circle disc at the top and that is the control for the lighting so if you have a preference or you don't want it changing colors all the time or maybe you just want it to turn off and go away all those are options uh, this nice window here makes it feel really open i'll have to say the table isn't huge but i think it's sufficient for two people to eat and maybe one person to set up a laptop and work it's super sturdy though really nice looking with this marble look on the top and you're right here by this window the cushions ah, nice leatherette really high backs on them i don't know i think it's pretty comfy now this solid table it's hooked on a bar in the back and when you want to make it a bed because if you had a child that needed to sleep here that is easy to do just lift up this leg shorten it this table lifts up hooks on the bottom bar and there you go you have a stable base to pull these cushions over most of you probably won't be sleeping a third person here but it's nice to know you can isn't it now one thing i really like about this dinette is that underneath you have a lot of the gear that makes this trailer really rugged and really unique they don't make it hard to get to let's take a look you can get to it just by lifting it up but so you can see better i'm going to move this cushion out and set it on the table and just lift this up because it's very easy to see in here what you're looking at is a lithium battery that's 200 amp hours that's really nice to have it's going to charge very quickly remember i mentioned you have two large solar panels on the roof you've also got uh, a lot of the gear in here that again is accessible if you have anything you need to check or repair or monitor you may have noticed in there the dc to dc charger that is a nice piece of equipment to build into this trailer because that's going to allow your vehicle to quickly and efficiently charge this battery directly now you're right that seven-way plug will do it but it's slow and it's a trickle charge so dc to dc charging is the way to go on a trailer like this it's all included under here and right up front let me put this back in right up front of this seat i want to show you what's down there because there's some more important stuff now on the far side is that 12 volt charging station that i mentioned earlier and it has the round 12 volt plug and the two usbs and next to that's going to be the 110 household plug so if you're sitting here doing some work on your laptop easy to plug in right there these are just some vents for the equipment that's under the seat and the switches here for your tank heaters you've got tank heaters they're going to keep those tanks from freezing if you get in really cold weather now let's look underneath the other seat because there's more gear there as well so under here is the 2000 watt inverter now that inverter is going to take the 12 volt power and convert it to run those 110 plugs you'll also see right up front it is a battery plus 35 that is going to be where all of the power is split off um, it's doing a lot of what a standard converter would do all right again really excited to see that all of this stuff is easily accessible and you can check it if you have any issues you'll be able to test it really quickly let me put this back because there's one more piece of this dinette i want to share with you now i tend to not want to sit at dinettes like and work all the time they have a nice little footrest built in so this can be your own private lounger i don't know i think that's super cool and it's definitely comfortable all right there's a lot more to see so let's keep going well now that i've had a little bit of a rest i want to show you the bathroom that goes all the way across the back of this trailer you know it's not huge but it works so well i mean first thing i love about it this really nice sliding door 
It even has a foot stop on it, which means you press down, it's going to hold it in place wherever you want it, open or closed. That way you don't have to have one of those really annoying latches on it. All right. Let's look right behind me here. The bowl sink, single handle, nice arch faucet, soap holder right here, and the towel. I mean, it just feels first class. The mirror wraps all the way across here with the nice uh, LED lighting strip at the top that you've seen throughout the kitchen and the dinette. Storage up here, really nice. This is probably eight, 10 inches deep and a good foot tall right here in the front. Does angle back just a bit, but great space. And you've got two of these, this one and another one, the same size right next to it. Countertop space, it matches the table there. So it's the nice white marble look. I really am impressed with the counter space and the storage underneath. So let's take a look. Right here, you've got two shelves and then space at the bottom. Now, of course, you've got some water lines running through, but they're not loose. They're not going to move around. They are nicely finished going through these cabinets all the way down. And again, every connection you get to check. If you think you've got a drip, you'll be able to see it right here. I mean, one thing we haven't talked about is there's some foot lighting in here, which is super nice right here and at the other end at the end of the bed. So you can see the floor at night. A panel of drawers. Oh man, I love drawers. It is the most efficient use of space in a trailer like this. This is going to be five inches deep and then you've got three more just like it down below. All of this bank of drawers should be plenty to hold whatever it is you need to take with you and store in the bathroom. You do have an open space on the right. I mean, to me, it's a no brainer for towels. There's a bar across the front to hold everything in place. You've got a side cabinet here and two more nice shelves in there. That charging bank right up top with the 110 plug and switch right here for that light right above. You know, this nice brushed aluminum backsplash is the same in the bathroom as it is in the kitchen. Just adds a real touch of class and easily cleanable right here. Right behind me is going to be the cassette toilet. Now this is a Dometic version and you notice the seat is rounded. It's just a very efficient use of space. Gives you more walk around room in this bathroom. But if you're not familiar with cassette toilets, they are extremely efficient, not hard to use. And if you're going off grid, that's going to be awesome. All right. So right here, you've got all the flushes in the back. It is a hand pull to flush it. We'll talk about the, the cassette on the outside when we get there. I want to point out that you've got a window just above it. Again, it's not a big window, but great window for ventilation right here. Works just the same as the rest of the windows in this unit. And just above, you've got a power fan and of course those nice LED lights around it. So everything you need right here in this small space. Let's talk about the shower real quick because again, they did a great job here. So there's a clip on this door and you know, like everything else in this, it's very solid feeling, a nice frosted glass. And I'm going to step in here. The best thing about this shower, it's pretty spacious. Yeah. I'm only five foot tall, but there's a lot of space in here. This is a one piece surround and it goes all the way down to the base. So three sides in the floor, four sides actually, are all connected. No seams, nothing to worry about water getting into. You do have seams around the ceiling, but seriously, folks, not much water is going to be going straight up. You've got an aluminum bar right here to hang a towel on and a shelf above that for setting any sundries you'd like to keep in here. Now you do have the shower bar right here on the left and a soap tray right there on it. It is adjustable in height, but we're almost all going to be holding it in our hand anyway. Very simple to use. Really nice space in here. Another fan right above me with the lights 
And something else I found interesting, there is a shower drain. Now, this is a pop-up shower drain, and when you step on it, it pops up to let the water go out. So you'll want to be sure you do that, right? Hmm. Otherwise, you'd be filling up the shower with water. Anyway, great space, really nicely done. This black and white interior is contrasted by this nice natural wood flooring. I really just hope you can get a feel for the inside of this trailer and the luxury that it really brings to camping off the grid, maybe off the beaten path. But let's finish up right here at the door. Um, there is a big panel right here, which looks like it would be a converter in a standard trailer. The only thing in this box is going to be some main breakers here um, because everything else is controlled underneath this seat. This is the box I was telling you about that will control the lights above the cabinets. Kind of cool. I mean, just a fun feature there. But down below, let's take a look because there's a switch for the awning right here near my feet. So you can reach in the door and get that really easily. And a panel of six white switches that will control the lights right here at the entry door and the rest of the lights on the outside of the trailer. And there's lots of them. So let's head out there and take a look. Stepping out, I want to explain this door just a bit. It's a little different than you've seen. You notice it has a grid top to bottom on this door and it separates here. Let me see if I can get that. So that you have a very secure door here with full screen top to bottom. Now you can clip this open two different ways. You have a catch here if you want it to clip here or Put that back in its place. You can pull this bar, let me grab my fingers on it, and clip it completely open. So there's a lot of ways to set up this door and it's really sturdy. You will notice there is a vent down here. So they have got it set up so that you can open up this vent, take this cover off, and if you are inside running any of the gas appliance, that's always recommended. So this is an option for that venting right there. You have a really nice rock guard halfway up on the trailer. I love the lighted handle. It is a single switch just inside the door in that panel that I mentioned earlier. The awning, it's about 14 foot long and look at the shade. Easy to deploy, just push the button, comes right out and then the integrated arms just get clipped in. So it's really easy to use. And with all the cool stuff we're gonna look at out here, you'll see this is a great outdoor space. The first big thing I wanna show you is my favorite piece of this trailer. I know I like a lot of things, but this is one of the coolest outdoor kitchens I have ever seen. First of all, I love the touch light right there. Unlatch it right here. Push the thumb latch, and this so easily slides right out. Let me show you how you set it up. All right, first thing you do is you lift this up. It's got a catch there. These shelves come down here. I mean, that's cool, right? You've got a nice sink right here. You've got some drawers, a pull down here. Now this is gonna store your hoses. Those hoses are gonna hook in right down here, the hot and the cold and the gas hookup. Right over here, let's set up the extension. And this piece pops up as well. Let me be sure I get it lifted up here. Sits down in that slot and that is gonna be the windshield for this really nice three burner stove that matches the one on the inside. Another drawer right here, a bottle opener. I could have some fun with this outdoor kitchen. Now there is a leg that props it up, goes right under here. I'm not gonna set it up for you, but it's pretty simple. Just stick it in and extend the leg. You're good to go. So I don't know. I really am impressed with this outdoor kitchen. It makes this outdoor space even better.
let's move on to talk about the construction in this trailer. It is an aluminum framed trailer. Uh, they have an engineered chassis. This is a lifetime structural warranty. That's huge. You've also got quality features on here. You've got serious off-road tires. They have X-Track trailing arm suspension on this, so you're gonna be really comfortable getting in those rocky areas. You know, I like to point out right here, they are four season ready. The Life Pro Plus, that is gonna be the battery, the 200 amp lithium that we showed you. The BM Pro, that's the electronic equipment that is keeping this unit running. Uh, Mega Hub, they have a 12 inch brake hub on here that is really built for off-roading and the tough tracks with the shock absorbers that are gonna keep you safe when you're off-road. So all of the nice gear that's put in here, the heavy duty tires, this is a 16 inch tire, really well done. They are not messing around when they're talking about getting out there and getting on some rough roads. This is a 15 year anniversary version. So your bars are gonna be a bright orange. That's how you can tell. Opening up this piece just gives you another table when you're outside. Now you'll notice there's a porch light here and one on the front controlled by the switch just inside the door. And coming around the back, you'll see there's a floodlight here as well. Now there is a switch just inside the door that controls the front and the rear floodlight. So you can get those on if you're in a situation where you need to see everything around you. Now, of course, what you would expect on an off-road trailer like this, you have two full-size spares and let's go around the other side. There's a lot to see here. Let's start, I know you see the shower room. Let's start with the cassette toilet though. We'll get to that in just a minute. If you aren't familiar with a cassette, they're very simple to use. It's gonna hold four and a half to five gallons in this container. Lift up this green handle, the whole thing just slides right out. There is handles all over this, so it's very simple to use. And pull this handle out and you can transport this wherever you need to go. Slide this uh, handle back in when you're ready to dump it and swivel this out. It's very stiff when they're new. You'll want to uncap this and then grab the handle on the back, push the button with your thumb to let some air in and it dumps very easily. When you're done, just put the cap back on, slide this back in place. And this is going to slide right back in and it opens up when it slides in. So you really don't have to get messy. It's not that upfront, close and personal. Very easy to do. Now, if you're gonna camp off the grid, you can handle this, no problem. All right, close that up. You have a venting right here. Uh, no need to work with this. You open that up if you wanted to get into that Truma water heater. Um, I wanna point out that you do have mud flaps on the back. You've also got some on the front. So if you get in some wet, muddy areas, that's really gonna help protect you. But now, Let's talk about our shower room. These are so easy to set up. And for those of you who are out there, you know, you may have some outside gear, you get really wet, really muddy. You might want to shower off in here. It's a great place to start. Let's step inside and take a look. This outside shower is perfectly designed to have an outside porch light coming in. So if it's at night, You've got the light. You've got a handheld shower head that can like strap in right up there and the hot and cold right here. Remember, you've got the Comfort Plus, so it is gonna be circulating. This hot water is gonna come out really quickly. You do have a floor with this. I mean, you've got an outside shower, then you've got the nice inside shower. I mean, it works for everybody in every situation, right? Okay, let's keep moving. Now, some of you may be thinking, you're right, I'm five foot tall, I am not a large person, but that is four foot by four foot, and it's seven foot tall. So, yeah, someone a whole lot bigger than me would still be really comfortable in there. All right, furnace vent right here, the 30 amp plug-in, and let's move around to the front and talk about all the cool stuff up here. 
We have, of course, this really nice rock guard here. It's protecting the propane and the brackets for extra jerry cans. You've got the rock guard up on top as well. You know, I love the front corners of it. it great for catching the brush, getting off road. Two propane tanks here. Now it is a single stage regulator. So whichever propane tank you wanna use, just connect there and when it's empty, move it to the other. No switching, uh, no adjusting there. Uh, very simple to use. And of course, these are the solid brackets for the jerry cans. There is some extra space up here. I bet some of you can find uh, ways to use that. All right, let's look at the tongue here. Uh, they do put a solid brake on here for you. You don't have to rely on wheel chocks or anything like that. So you have a nice hand braking system. They do include a spigot right here on the tongue. Now, if you are off-road, you might need some water, maybe not inside, carrying it out. Very easy to access here, as well as drain your lines. So, great feature here. And up front, I wanna point out the plug. You have a standard seven-way plug with a heavy-duty wiring cover on it. And then next to that is the DC to DC wiring. Now, you will be charging your batteries with the straight seven way, but a DC to DC charger, if you're not familiar with it, it is going to charge much faster. You get a lot more amps through here. This trailer, as I said before, is set up to do that, uh, but you will need some wiring on your vehicle to make this plug work. They do include the Cruise Master coupler. Now, this is one of my favorite off-road couplers because a lot of you are worried about whether it latches securely. Uh, this guy is not only easy to use, we'll show you just a bit about how it works, but then uh, once you have it in place, you put the cap on. If it clicks down securely, you know that you have it latched correctly and it's not gonna come loose. Again, a nice heavy duty off-road feature. You don't have to worry about whether you're on uneven ground or not. All right. Swivel here, notice the heavy duty wheel, heavy duty chains. So every piece of equipment on here is heavy duty and ready to go wherever you wanna go. All right, now it's time for some of the fun stuff. We have the annex room set up here for you. Yeah, it was kind of magic while we were back there. But this is a full six and a half feet wide. And remember, this trailer is only 22 feet long. The length of this annex room, 18 feet. It's really amazing. Let's step inside. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this did take us just a few minutes to set up, but well worth it if you need that extra space. I mean, it protects you from the elements. It's gonna give you the shade, the bug protection. And yes, if you get some weather, every screen has a roll down to protect you from the weather. So really nice setup in here. You've got the kitchen behind me. We've already gone through that. Um, lighted handle, porch light is on the inside, table to set up there. So you could use this room for sleeping, for hanging out, whatever works for you. Such a great feature. And did I mention it is included in every trailer? Not only is this a great space, but you have option for an additional door on this end. So it really depends on what works best for you, how you lay it out, and what you're using it for. A few more things I wanna point out about this annex room. The waterproof floor comes with it, awesome. And you do have a waterproof skirt right here up against the trailer. So it is fully enclosed. If you wanted to get more poles, I did notice there are grommets at the end of the window coverings. So you could extend those out for rain flies, maybe additional shade, whatever works for you. Extremely durable, extremely versatile. This is such a great addition. And I think I mentioned it's free. It comes with the trailer. It's just an added outdoor space. There's a lot to talk about with this trailer. I've tried to cover everything, but if I miss something or you have questions, just let us know down below. We'd love to help you out here at Princess Craft RV. I'm PJ with Princess Craft in Round Rock, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.